everybody. It's Rebecca from Crafting on the Ridge. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, tonight I wanted to paint those cowbells that I made. Can I suggest to when the can is still flat, just to take a magic marker and just mark where you want your two holes. I just used a punch and put and pop the holes into it. I can pop the hole in it and then in my can down, then I have to go back and push the can back up. So put the holes in it first. Okay. Get that out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is um I've got some brad nails and I want to put the brad nails down the side. However many brad nails you decide is up to you on how much how many you want to decorate it with. I'll just put in three, but um, just to give you an idea. And what I bought was the brad nails that are only um, a half inch long because you don't really need them any longer. But if you have that on hand, then there's no problem with using it. Again, this little punch works just fine for these little brad nails. So I'm going to put like one here at the top and then one in the middle. And then one here. Oh. Right there. One. And then right. The punch goes in fine. Okay. So now when I take the good little brad nails in, there's the two little pieces of, of metal that you're going to spread open when you put it in there. I know that's tiny. So if you open it up just a tiny bit before you put it in the can, it helps when you put your hand in the can. Okay. So now, here's what it looks like when you get them in there. That looks really cute. I really like that. And I don't know if you can see on the inside. Oh, there they are. Down in there. Okay. You put it on the wire. Okay, so now once we get the brad nails in, we're going to paint it. Combinations you can do. All right, so I'm just using chalk paint. And you can brush it on. Since I'm covering so much, I'm just going to brush it on. It's a lot faster. And since I'm going to let this be gold, now even if this was silver, I would let a tiny bit of silver show through. I'm not going to do a heavy, heavy coat. It's okay if a little bit of metal shows through, unless black is the color you want. So then you want to do a heavy coat. But I'm just going to do just enough to cover the majority of it. And, I'm, and the black is needed in order to get that old weathered look. Okay. So did that pretty good? Okay. Set that down. Alright. And one coat is all that's needed. So then I'm just we're gonna take the blow dryer and blow dry. But let's pretend like I already did that and I'm gonna set this one to the side. And I'm going to bring this one out. Ta-da! Okay, so now, let me just, well, it don't matter. Okay, so now this is dry. And what I did was I got too much paint on these little brad nails, and I wanted some of the metal to show. So I just went and rubbed a little bit of it off because I want some of it to show. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to take some uh, antique gold, which looks like a, a brown gold. Kind of looks like a tarnished gold. And then I'm going to take a very shiny gold. And it takes quite a bit of this gold. Okay. And then I'm going to put it on with a sponge. And I'm going to do my gold, gold, gold first. And I'm just going to start dabbing it on. Like this. This is a totally different gold than what's on the can. 
can is very shiny and very new. This gold, putting it on the black, you can see it's not as shiny. It's not a matte finish, but it's not as shiny. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going all the way around it. I'm just dabbing it, no rhyme or reason. It's just however much you want it to be. And I, and you can do heavy dabs and light dabs, because then your light dab shows more of the black through it. And now I did finish five of these already for the, um, I'm making a wreath, a Christmas wreath, and five of them are going in the wreath, and they are, um, I've got four different sizes. Two of them are the same size, but when I hang them on the actual wreath, it'll give a little illusion that all five of them are different shape. Okay, see where I got this big blob right there? All you have to do is just take, take your sponge and just kind of spread that out a little bit. And then I can take it out. And then I'll recap. Okay. All right, so I like how much is on here. Not too much. Still seeing the black. See how cool that looks? I put the gold, this gold was the um, pure gold, pure fake gold, um, is what the color is called, pure gold. And then the other one is the antique gold. It has that little brownish in it. It's got well, be some black in it. It's kind of separated so it looks like metal. This probably would make a very cool one by itself. So now I just want to get a little bit more definition. So I'm going to go in with this dark, darker color and I'm just going to go not every, not heavy coated like I did the the other gold one, but just one to, just to give it some, a little bit of darkness in different areas. And you can even go in if you want uh, with some brown, and I'll show you a really cool one I did. Um, using some brown. And don't forget to do your little loop as well. And get inside your little loop, like so. And you might even have to take a little brush. And come in here under your little loop and just kind of dab a little bit. Just so that it all flows well. Looks, makes it look like it all tarnished at the same time. Okay. So that's probably, I see a little spot here that I missed. Okay. All right, so I got a big blob right here. So we don't want that big blob. All right, let me see. That looks cool. Now, we can leave it like that, or we can touch it with some white chalk paint, which I forgot to get out. Let me this could be really whitewashed if you wanted it to be. Ah, ah. Oh, that thing's on the I'm not going to do a heavy one. I'm just going to do a tiny bit. I need to get it out with something else. Let me put some right there. Okay. Now I'm going to just dab that. I do not want a whole lot, just a teeny, tiny bit. Okay. So I'm just going to just light, 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 light. And you can take, like if I put it on where it's too thick in some spots. A 
little bit on my salt. Okay, let me get another one. I'm going to go back over it with one that has that dark gold on it because I don't want this to be too boldly white. I just want it to be a little bit. So I'm going to go right back over where I put the white with this gold. It still has a white tint to it, but it's not as stock white. Because I don't want it to look like it's actually been painted. I just want it to look like it's part of the um, distressed look. I mean, like it's kind of natural in a way. Oh, actually, I'm not missing. Hi, Sylvia. How are you doing? These are the um, tin cans that I shaped into uh, these cowbells. I have a video um, that I did a, mm, two or three weeks, two weeks ago maybe, or was it three weeks, that showed how I actually was able to shape these in the little dome shapes, just using various different sizes of tin cans. Okay. So there it is with the paint on it. And like I said, this is makes it look very old and kind of rustic looking. So let me hit it with the dryer and then we I'll show you another technique. Quick. And since this is uh, basically the chalk paint or water-based paint, this doesn't take long to dry. When this starts drying, it's a flat finish. It really takes on a really nice old look to it. It's very pretty. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see how pretty it is, but the paint, it has so many dimensions in it. It looks so cool. So now, another cool thing you can do with these is you can put cinnamon on it. And that gives it a really nice look. Alright. So all I'm going to do is Mod Podge and use Elmer's glue. Um, and I'm going to use a flat Mod Podge. Alright. Let me clean my brush. Okay, so I'm just going to take the Mod Podge and I'm just going to decide, no rhyme or reason, what I'm going to choose. I'm just going to go in areas that I want to see the where the cinnamon is going to go. I'm going to have to bring this the cinnamon down. Okay, and then I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Close to you. Some cinnamon here. We need it closer, closer, closer. There you go. There's some right here. Different places in the back. So now, let me put this back in before I hit it with the blow dryer because the other day I did that. Oof, cinnamon puff cloud went up. So let me just get that out of the way for my Oh, I forgot I'm going to need to get that out of the way. I'm gonna just gonna want it to dry for a second, a few seconds. No, I'm gonna need this again. Okay. Make sure there's nothing here to blow away. Okay, I'm gonna cut this back on for a second, and I'm gonna dry this, and then I'm gonna put a coat of Mod Podge right on top of the cinnamon.
montage on that. I can take this off now. All right, so the next thing you do now that it's all dry, you can take and put a string on it if you want to. This came from Dollar Tree. And then you just put this in. However long you want it. This has got the tape on it. I'll get it off later. Hi Nelda, how are you doing? So here it is with the different colors on it. I am good. How are you? Um, and I've got so we got the brad nails in. We've got painted it black. We got the gold on, then we put the antique gold over that, tiny, tiny bit of whitewash put on it, not a whole lot, and um, then the cinnamon, so it makes it nice and pretty and rusted here. I'll, let me bring it a little bit closer now, Good. and you can see the texture, I hope you can see it, like and it dries, it's it's dry it really looks it looks like rust so the more cinnamon you put on it the thicker it will be and it just looks pretty okay so now right now I don't have the little ringer in it and I thought um, that um, I used when I wired this loop on the top I left this wire long so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and feed this through here you, like I said, you can use a bell. You can use a wooden ringer, stain this, paint it where it can look similar to this. Drill a little hole in it, or you could glue it, or you could even probably, you could staple the um, rope right on the top of that. And then you just tie your rope or put your rope in here where the wire is and then wire your rope to that. But... That's how I did all the other rows to this one. I just wanted to show a different style to do it like this. So I'm just gonna put a little knot in the end of this. That'll hold. Scissors, there they are. I'm gonna cut this off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that through when I put the glue on it. All right, so like I said, inside of here is the two wires. I'm going to take this and see how far up I'm going. I'm going to put like a little loop in it so that I can have this hanging down a little bit. So I think my loop needs to be about this big. this off. That way it'll dangle. And I'm just going to take my wire and bend my little wire. And then I just fed the wire, the two little wires, right through the little loop. App. So it just, it's holding like a little hook. Okay. So there we have it like that. Now we can leave it like that or we can go even farther. When I put the, the, the ones I made for my customer, I am not going to decorate them because they are going in the wreath. So I got a few little things. Since it's small, it doesn't need a whole lot. Um, I just grabbed a few little things because like I said, it's, it's small. You can put these on permanently. You could just, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of putting it on this one, let's put 
it on this great big one that I made. This one has a little bit different color. It has less gold in it and a lot more brown, and it's more rustic. So let's take and do a big one. And it has a whole lot of cinnamon on it. Ah, see right there? I'll take a picture of this up close because this looks really, really rusty. All right, so this is gonna be, the, so that's gonna be the front. And I really like these in the front. I mean, I just really like where you can see them. Okay, so my glue gun is just dripping away. And I'm going to do it with these little berries go up. So I'm going to things. Ouch. So I'm just going to hide the wire. And there we go. And this one here has the little wooden piece on it. This has the wooden, this little, a piece like this. I just drilled the hole in it. I'm get on the string, same way that we just did uh, this little wooden bead. Make me, uh, well, this one, and then I'm going to make me another one, a different size, and I'm going to have all of them hanging together. And I'm going to pull this out here and show you the ones I finished for the wreath that I'm doing. Now, that wreath, again, these are not going to be decorated for the wreath, but I will show you all of them. These are all going in the wreath. And these are a little bit lighter. They're not as gold. They have a little bit of a whitewash on them. I'll take pictures of them and I'll show you because it's kind of hard to see. But they have little pictures and show. Anyway, all five of these are going inside of a wreath. I, I might make the wreath on the line um, so you can see how I end up, does how the design's going to look on the wreath. But um, they were really fun to make. If you didn't get enjoy home uh, again, Thank you for hanging out, and I will see you soon. Bye.